welcome to my my bed where I don't want to leave right now because I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm Morgan, and today I'm trying to figure out which of my TBR jar picks I want to read. <laughs> Poor Ventina has a lot of feelings today. So I cannot figure out how I want to go about reading these books, like which one I want to read first. I have four books here that I picked from my TBR jar. If you didn't watch my May TBR, I'll go over those books real quick. They are Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen, Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero, Off the Page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. You got an itch, huh? And Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. I figured the best way to decide which one to read right now is to do the try a chapter challenge tag thing, which is essentially where you read the first chapter of a bunch of books and read the book that you enjoyed the first chapter of the most. I will check in after I finish the first chapter of each book and let you know what will be my my next read. I was originally going to vlog my, my reading of the entire book and not upload this until I finish the book that I picked, but since I'm doing weekly reading vlogs now, spoiler alert, I decided that I will just tell you which book I pick and then you'll see me finish it in my reading vlogs. I don't know which chapter I want to read first. I'm going to read the first chapter of Off the Page, followed by Throne of Glass, and then Sense and Sensibility, bringing up the rear with meddling kids. I will be back after I finish the first chapter of Off the Page. I, is that the... Is that the first chapter? Yeah. First chapter is two pages. So I'm back. The first chapter of this is literally like a page and a half because this is about a girl that like reads a storybook and falls in love with the, the boy in the book, I think, or it's italicized. So I'm wondering if that's from the storybook that the main character is reading. It was definitely a good way to like start the story off. I just don't know. I don't. <laughs> I read it and I was like, is that, is that the first chapter? I'm counting it as the first chapter. Uh, not bad. It's two pages, so we're off to a great start. Now I'm going to read the first chapter of Throne of Glass, which I'm assuming is probably going to be a longer chapter than two pages. Five pages. Short chapters. Hi! I just finished reading chapter one of Throne of Glass. I definitely enjoyed this first chapter more than the first chapter of Off the Page, but that's because I had more to work with with this one. And this one I could tell when the chapter started and ended, as opposed to this one, which I didn't even know if it was a chapter or not. So this was definitely a good setup for the storyline. The first, you know, seven pages had me pretty intrigued and invested in the story, so I definitely see myself reading this. If this isn't the first book out of these four that I go for, it'll definitely be one of the sooner ones. So often you see the trope of fantasy where someone thinks they're going to their death, but then they end up standing in front of like a royal guard, and that's the trope that happened. Spoiler alert. I'm like the last one to jump on this series for sure, but I am excited nonetheless. You meet Kale in like the first seven pages, that's neat. I know everyone loves Kale. He has his own goddamn book. Next, we're gonna be picking up Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I was about to say I haven't read a classic piece of literature since high school, but I did read Slaughterhouse-Five my first year of college because it's one of my friend's favorite books of all time, and I really love Slaughterhouse-Five, but I have not read a classic since, and I haven't read any Austen. Austen wasn't required reading at my high school because my high school was garbage. I'm really excited to read this. I wanted to start with Pride and Prejudice, but I pulled Sense and Sensibility first. This chapter is four pages. Okay, I'm gonna go read this four-paged uh, chapter. I just assumed that it, since it was a class that the chapters would be a little longer, but no, actually it's five pages. I'm gonna read these five pages and let you know what I think when I come back. I just read chapter one of Sense and Sensibility and I have questions. <laughs> this guy, Mr. Dashwood, dies. He gives the his property and like money to his son. Mr. John Dashwood was gonna give money to his mom and his sisters, but then his wife was like, nah, that was about it. You meet the daughters, Eleanor, Marianne, and Margaret, and you meet
meet the mom and John Dashwood and his wife, Mrs. John Dashwood. She has forfeited all rights to be her own person now that she's married, so that's cool. The text is complete and unedited. Yeah, I can tell. This was interesting. I just, I find like classic writing to be very clunky. I mean, it was written in 1811, but I understand why this is like a beloved piece of literature because it's not poorly written. It's just a lot. <laughs> I definitely want to read it because I want to read more classics. I've really been neglecting reading any sort of classic literature because of who I am as a person and my overall just like intimidation by classic literature. So now I'm going to read chapter one of Meddling Kids. I do have kind of an advantage because I read a little bit of this a year ago, but I don't remember what happened. Still have a bookmark in here. That's handy. The first chapter of Meddling Kids is 10 pages. I'm gonna read that real quick and I'll be back in a second. <laughs> so I just finished reading chapter one of Meddling Kids and I, oh, I loved it so much. This follows a bunch of kids that are like a Scooby-Doo-esque gang. They solved this like mystery. Now shit's popping off. <laughs> it's definitely really like action packed like right off the bat. It's definitely setting the scene for what's going to come in the story. I love the writing. It kind of dives into how fucked up these kids are after solving these mysteries and uncovering things like this and I really enjoyed that look. Like I'm glad this is an adult novel rather than a YA book. You meet a couple of the kids in the first chapter and they're adults. Like they're in their 20s now, like late 20s. You meet Andrea. She is so great so far. I'm only 10 pages in. I don't know which one I want to read first. I was really leaning towards Throne of Glass because I love fantasy and I've been, but I have been reading a lot more fantasy stuff lately. And I'm kind of in like a, a horror, like spooky mood. I kind of want to read Meddling Kids. I know this takes place with like assassins and shit. And I don't know if I'm really in the mood to read about an assassin right now. I think I'm going to go with Meddling Kids. I think Meddling Kids is going to be the first book of my TBR jar picks that I read. And I'm really excited for it. I have been meaning to read it for a really long time. I really hope that I continue to enjoy this book as much as I did those first 10 pages. I'm going to be doing my TBR jar picks every two months. So my next one will be in July. So this is a video you guys would want to see every time I go to read my TBR jar books. Definitely let me know because this was a cool way to get like a little sampler of each of the books that I'm planning on reading. But you guys, there you have it. That was the try a chapter challenge thing. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave it a thumbs up if you feel so inclined and if you liked it. Leave me comments if this is a video that you guys would want to see more of. I really like watching booktubers do this tag challenge thing so let me know if it's something that you enjoy as well and if you haven't already and if you would like to you are more than welcome to subscribe i upload every monday wednesday and friday yeah and like i said my name is morgan i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and happy reading okay bye